All right, so now we're going to construct a three-point load sharing anchor system. If you don't have one substantial anchor, you can find multiple anchor points that are adequate. Uh, in this video, we're going to use three different anchor points. Uh, we'll take a bag of rope. And the reason we use a bag of rope is because it's going to take a lot of rope to go around each one of those anchor points. And then we're going to need about 10 foot of rope to build a double bike figure eight. And it's going to have four legs coming out of the front, which these four legs make two loops. And the four legs out the back, one's going to be going around your anchor point. One you're going to use as a tail to connect the rope together to make a loop. And then you also have a bike coming out of the back or a loop that will connect the rest of the anchor system too. So we'll put the double bike figure eight. We will have the rope go around each one of our anchor points. The rope that is going back into the rope bag we'll take and make a loop in it. And we'll take the tail, we'll call this the running end, and the loop will be the standing end. We will take this and make a double becket to form a loop in our rope. So we'll take that bite and go around as a single becket and then around one more time and make a double becket. And then we'll dress it down and put a safety in it. We want to build this double becket as close to our double figure eight as possible in case we lose one of the suspect anchor points. Uh, your system will extend out, but you will not lose the load. So you'll safety down on both ends, dress it down nice and neat because it's going to see the load right here. So when we finish at this point, it's going to look something like this. You have a double becket on this side, your figure eight, your double figure eight here. So you will connect your load to the front here where you have these two loops or two ears coming out the front. And then you also have a loop coming out the back. You will take this loop and go between each one of your anchor points and bring in and connect to that loop with a carabiner. And then come between these two anchors and bring the rope in as well and connect with a carabiner. Like so. And it's going to look like this when you get finished. Uh, at this time you can direct it in the right direction so it'll be in line with your rescue that you're about to perform. You can put an anchor plate here or your load system. Uh, I want you to remember that when you build this system, each one of these legs, if you were to lose one, let's just use this one for an example. We'll take this one off. And the system will pay out and equalize, and you could have some shock loads. So you want to check your equipment and make sure that it is adequate and not damaged, but you will not lose the load. You will be down to two legs of your anchor system.